Back in the days before electricity, people used things like candles and lamps for light. The wax and oil used for light can be made from different things, but the best source of all was from wells. Well blubber burns brighter and cleaner than anything else. It was especially valuable for fueling bright lights such as lighthouses. Cities began to grow and there was more and more demand for light. The hunt for wells became a huge industry. Most of that industry eventually became centered in a town called New Bedford, Massachusetts. From New Bedford, ships would set out to sea and go all over the world hunting for wells. Life at sea was difficult and dangerous, but anyone willing to face the risk got paid for it. When they finally found a well, they pulled it in and put its oil into barrels. They would come back to New Bedford with a ship full of barrels. Trains would take these barrels all over the country. Now everyone could light their homes. In 1841, a young man named Herman Melville came to New Bedford to join a welling crew. He would later write a book about a hunt for a white well called Moby Dick. It would eventually become one of the most famous books in America. In the 1860s, oil was found in America, and it was a lot easier to get than wells. Finally, well hunting slowed down, and today they're protected so they can thrive at sea. The whaling industry is over, but many sites related to the whaling era can still be found in the town of New Bedford. These sites combine to form New Bedford Whaling National Historical Park. Let's go visit the park. Welcome to New Bedford Whaling. At the visitor center, you can start the quest to become a junior ranger as you learn about whaling history. Sailors went to the Pacific Ocean to find whales. Um, and the picture of whales um, are where they found whales. All those whales. Master and the merchant and the chief mate all got lots of money, but the seaman only got 133, even though he did all the work. There are other historic sites, like the plaza right next door. Near this area, the first black regiment was enlisted. A mural shows the story of the 54th Massachusetts Regiment that would later fight to glory. Around the corner is the Seaman's Bethel. It's a church where seamen could attend when they were ashore. Herman Melville attended here and it inspired parts of Moby Dick. This is Herman Melville's pew. He sat right here. The Whaling Museum is across the street. It's a partner site to the historic park. These are real well bones. And this is the size of a well heart. Explore a whaling ship. And see some of the creations made from whale bones. There's no more whale hunting in America, but New Bedford keeps its history alive. See you at the next park! <laughs>